Hello and welcome all. So in today's lecture, we will be taking, we will be understanding state management with sessions with MVC application and this is part 13 of the playlist. So in this lecture, we shall walk through the session state as a means for state management demonstrate the session state in action through code example in MVC. So session state is used for storing user data as the user navigates through a web app. It uses a store maintained by the app to persist data across requests from a client. Session data is backed by cache and is considered temporary or ephemeral or transitory data. Okay. Critical application data should be stored in the user database so that site should continue to function without the availability of the session data. Now ASP.NET Core maintains session state by providing a cookie to the client that contains a session ID, the cookie session ID, and this is sent to the app with each request. Okay, so this is known as cookie session ID and is used by the app to fetch the session data. Session state exhibits a few behavior which are like a session cookie even though it is session state it is still using a cookie so session cookie is specific to the browser session aren't shared across the browsers now this lecture is also has got some basis on my previous lecture on part 12 on cookie state management so if you haven't gone through that lecture please come and visit that lecture and then come back uh, although this is an independent but it will help so session cookies are deleted when the browser session ends. If a cookie is received for an expired session, a new session is created that uses the same session cookie. Now empty sessions are not retained. The session must have at least one value to set to persist the session across requests. When a session isn't retained, a new session ID is generated for each new request. The app retains a session for a limited time after the last request. The app either sets the session timeout or uses the default value of 20 minutes, whichever is earlier. The session state is ideal for storing user data that's specific to a particular session and where the data doesn't require permanent storage across sessions. So session data is deleted either when the session i session dot clear implementation is called or when the session expire, expires. So let's um, switch over to Visual Studio and finally one more word is that session state cookies aren't marked essential by default. So session state isn't functional unless tracking is permitted by the site visitor. Now you can read more information which I will um, be putting in the details in the general data protection regulation support in ASP.NET Core. Right, so let's switch over to Visual Studio. And we have started this project and we'll continue to work on this project for the session state. Okay. So in the controller folder, I will right click and add a new controller. And I will call this. This will be empty controller again, add. And I will call this. user details controller needs to be appended so user details controller and this is also um, derived from the base controller class now before we move forward with the code we need to configure our startup which probably we have already configured so all we need to uh, see is no, it's not configured so because last time it was a cookie so it was not a session state so I'll have to add another services so services dot add session add this add session so this adds the session okay services required for application session state this is a must without which you cannot um, 
work with the session state and another thing is that i have to uh, in the this request pipeline or middleware that you are now aware of um, which i have all taken uh, this is after the routing portion i have to use the middleware app dot use session use session okay use session middleware so it adds the microsoft and this this, this is automatically enable session state for the application right so these two are the must for configuration in the startup class now let's get back to the user details controller okay now here this order of uh, using the use session middleware is important it has to be before uh, this endpoint routing for mvc or razor page okay if it comes after this then it will not use the session okay so please go through my middleware lectures which gives valuable invaluable information about how to use the middleware in the middleware pipeline and the order is so important all right so get back to the um, user details controller now this i will modify a little bit so here i'll be using http context object so on top and now i'll be using the session session object and then there are three important method if you write as in set set in 32 and set string so i'll be using the set string okay and then it takes what are the overload it takes it takes just one overload with a key and a value so i will give the key a name name okay and then copy it over the meaning will be clear what i am trying to do i am just setting a sessions state with set string okay in the index met action method okay and this time it will be the key will be gender and and then there will be department uh, trying to simulate an employee class which i have not written i am yet to write okay so which i will write eventually human resources and finally a pay just copy this now instead of set string this will be set in 32 because i intend this to be a salary or a pay and it has to be in in 32 32 bit integer so whatever we would like this person to get right then return view now next i could have uh, done it in any order i could have created this earlier but now is the time so click on add and class and i will be creating an employee class basically which has all these properties that i have just listed in the uh, set string okay uh, as key employee class okay so it will create an employee class on, with me so there will be a few public properties prop tap tap and string and this is name and then copy it over send column to terminate the code and then instead of name this will be gender and this will be department and then finally 
cubular semicolon because that is taken care of by the getter and setter directly. So finally this will be as in 32 type and P. All right. So this is my employee class and just save it and then come back to the controller again and then I will have to write another action method public action method I action method and this will be a get okay And what this will return, this will actually initialize an employee object. And if you write anything here, um, say A, it will expose all the properties. So first property is name if I say forget so if I I don't need to revisit the class you know model class to see all the properties okay HTTP dot session now basically you probably have already understood what I'm trying to do here in the index action method I am setting the session states and which I am retrieving with the another method session dot get string okay now here in this case this will just asking for a key because it will key give the value itself with the key right now this is the completed code okay so it will be actually comma separated all right and finally this will be a semicolon so this is another way of uh, initializing an employee object or instantiating all right now basically i am going to return a view and supply this employee as an argument right so I have to now left with creating two views one for the index and another for the get so index view I have to first create so basically the plan is to first browse to the index page index URL home page for this uh, user details so, and then it will set when I navigate to the index page of the user details controller it will set the session which will be recovered through this get so for that reason i have to do a minimalistic index view for uh, i mean the view for the index as well as get so here i will let it auto generate so add view razor view empty okay let it be an empty view it has to be there otherwise it will come up with error razor view ending empty so index.cshtml all right now if you browse at this moment if you run the application and browse the index it will show nothing but it will um, set the session state objects from following this okay so if you put a um, breakpoint over there and then run this application and browse to the user details page so application is now running and if I browse to the user details page user uh, details then this breakpoint will be hit okay so if I click on uh, F10 F10 or F11 it will be set all right now if I continue it will show me because index was not found the following locations were searched okay 
user details index.cshtml. Now this error was because this index view was created in the controllers folder whereas it was looking for another folder. So within views what I will do add a new folder add a new folder and call this user details. user details and then um, put this shift this index view over here okay and then run this application again so this time I got away with the breakpoints I removed the breakpoints and you you can see that you know this is browsing to user details and um, it is giving a simple page without anything because that is how it was made to be now finally i'll have to create the view for the have to create the uh, view for the get i will come to this and let it auto generate the view for the get action method so add view there's a view empty rather than this I will do it uh, not the empty one but let it generate with a model add and what is our model view name is get and template this time I want it to be a details view with a model class of employee all right employee model and then click on add it will add the scaffold it will take a bit of a time I'll come back again okay now this is scaffolded for me get.cshtml within this folder user detail it has automatically created and now let's run this application once more and browse to user details slash get okay so we have finally got our results so I've browsed to localhost slash user details slash get and I've got this get employee so name gender department pay and edit and back to list okay so in this lecture we have seen what is session management as a part of the state management and we have gone through demonstrating by building a ASP.NET core MVC application from scratch and we have shown some user details from an employee class and uh, retrieved the session state in the uh, application. Thank you.